All right, we're going to show one-man operation tanker coming into the hydrant. Uh, this would be first arriving tanker empty coming to a uh, pressurized water source with no pumper there yet. So this is the retrofit of tanker 14, 3,500 gallons. Uh, we had the butterfly valve removed and we went to the fireman's friend on the back. So the driver operator's arrived. He's going to uh, drag off the hose. We carry a short section of five-inch hose. Again, ideally, you're looking to get a pumper here, but uh, you know, if you're the first arriving tanker to the fire, you may be very well going to uh, that fill site by yourself the first time. Take it off the five inch adapter, hook it the five inch hose on. The nice thing about the fireman's friend valve is he has nothing to open. That valve is gonna open by itself. Brings his hydrant wrench back. So that tanker is ready to fill. All he has to do is get his hydrant connection up and running. If uh, we were to expand this operation, ideally you'd be looking to get a pumper here and get a pumper on the hydrant and then get that LDH manifold out there uh, so that the tanker driver doesn't have to get out. But again, you know, first time in, this is probably what you're going to have to do. Uh, days of minimum staffing and reduced uh, folks coming to a call. So he's working once he gets that charge, that valve's going to open up. Water's on the way. Or the valve open so in past right past times the driver would have had to run over and open the butterfly valve on the back now he doesn't so it's certainly a time-saving measure a couple other things nice about that valve is it's internal uh, it's not going to freeze so in freezing weather you don't have an issue with that valve freezing so all around uh, pretty good wind wind for uh, improving fill times with just a driver operator from a hybrid. The uh, fireman's friend that got put on this tanker, the uh, Winfield Tanker 14, was a four inch fireman's friend and that'll accommodate upwards of about 1900 gallon a minute coming in. Uh, traditionally we had filled this tanker somewhere in the neighborhood of 1500 to 1600 gallon a minute. Again it's only as good as your hybrid. Uh, so we'll see how that works out here. Hitting about the halfway point. So this was a retrofit. Uh, we had the original manufacturer, four guys, uh, retrofit that uh, fireman's friend arrangement. We actually got the idea, saw a uh, Gilmanton, New Hampshire tanker, engine tanker, and uh, they had it on it. And we like the elbow. The elbow doesn't seem to restrict the flow very much. Uh, it's four-inch pipe coming out, so it works pretty well filling this thing. We're uh, approaching three-quarter mark. So the reason you're going to put a pumper here is so that you can get uh, access to additional water out of that hydrant. That's the only drawback. While this looks pretty convenient, if you had a low flow hydrant, say a 600 or 700 gallon minute hydrant, you would struggle to fill it a thousand gallon a minute. Uh, so as you've seen in uh, other drills, we want to put that pumper on the hydrant in order to access that additional water. So let's just take a closer look. We'll take a look at the arrangement while we finish up our film. Uh, there is a drain on it. The, uh, the drain can be used if you want to. Cleaner valve uh, really hasn't proved that we've needed it. What's nice is at the end, if you want to, when you shut the line down, the check valve closes. And you can pick the hose up some, you can pick the hose up some, open the drain, and that way your feet don't get wet. 
Uh, but it really works pretty nice. We're uh, almost full. Our lights show full. We're going to wait for the spillover. And then the operator is going to shut down the, uh, the hydrant. All right, so he's full. As soon as he shuts that hydrant down, that check valve is going to close. Now, ideally, uh, another way to make this work better would be to have a control valve that you leave at the hydrant. So in other words, put some kind of ball valve on the hydrant, leave the hydrant open, and you could just shut this down. Uh, don't carry that on this tanker. That's not part of their operation. So as you can see, now he's going to go disconnect the hose. And uh, the hose is already, you know, without pressure. It's pretty easy. He's going to pick it up and break it. And good to go. So that's all the amount of water that's going to come out of that thing. And he's ready to hit the street and uh, get moving. So that shows the operation, one-man operation, using the hydrant. Again, uh, we would want to expand this with a pumper and a crew as we could uh, as additional resources arrive.